Mm. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna make this coffee. <sighs> Let me move this back a little bit. There we go. Okay, down. Okay, more updates. But I thought I'd make coffee. It's Sunday morning. Now, you just saw previously a video. You're probably going to get two today. Okay. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about, you know. <laughs> I might not be a big YouTube channel. But I'll tell you. The I get my butane. You all out there who watch me. We're like family. <laughs> we really are. You care about me, and I care about you. <laughs> I do. And let me get my tray here. Haven't seen me make coffee in a while. Yeah. This is my coffee drawer. I know where everything's at. I don't even have to look. Don't look. <laughs> yeah. My spoon. I know, I keep a spoon in here just for my coffee. Okay, well, let me give you some updates. Well, first, my goodness, some of you be like, you know, <laughs> when I was like, you know, I not to be too nosy, but I think we have a right to know, where is Paul? Where's Paul and Abby? <laughs> it, it's so cute. Yeah, um, I did mention twice in videos previously that Paul had a family event back east. Yeah. But that's done with. And that's who I was going to meet. <laughs> yes, I was going to. That ain't going to happen. I talked to... Uh, Paul and he's he's well. So Zabby. He's he's all well. He's real far north. There were some things he wanted to see. He likes obviously looking at my last video. He likes to travel a whole lot more than I do. I just I the fascination of driving is 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 over for me. It just is. I don't mind driving a short distance, going here and there and seeing new scenery. But sitting in, in a van for long periods of time, no. But I already whined about that on my last video, right? <laughs> Did you like my whining? Well, I gave you cheese with the wine, okay? Yeah. Well, the, all the plans have changed. Yeah. Either I go back to Flagstaff this, today... Or I just stay here and wait for Paul to make it. Yeah. It'll take a little while for him to get here. I don't want him driving fast. I just... The problem I have is that in the area where I'm going up north, either I have to go through the Colorado Mountains, which I don't want to do, especially with I'm not sure what's going on. But the other problem is, is if I go around and go up, to can't like near Kansas City. There's really um, there's no uh, major cities or towns all the way up to Kansas City. They're really little teeny towns. If I have a problem with my van, yeah, it's just it's just the main area. Yeah, it's just the area I'm in, I guess. But there was another way I could have went through Colorado. And it sounds beautiful, but it's also through mountains. It doesn't, yeah. Not having a well-running or a, a newer vehicle, yeah. This travel thing is pretty crazy. So that's my new update. Let me get my coffee, yeah. So I'm probably going to hang here. I could probably make it to Flagstaff. I do. I did make an appointment before I even left because I'm having trouble with my door. 
Okay, there's two things now that need to be fixed. I'm having trouble with the lock on my door. I think it's the actuator. Max retired. Um, he's in Flagstaff, and he looked at it. He's retired from um, Chrysler. And so he knows, you know, a lot about all car parts and everything. And he said, yeah, it's, it's, it's the actuator. But believe it or not, believe it or not, um, there's about $400 right there too. Just because they have to take the panel off the door and then they probably have to order the part and they have, be it labor is what's really getting most of us. And of course parts too, but yeah, any little thing going wrong with your vehicle, it's uber expensive if you don't have, um, your, if your warranty's not there. So, and yeah, my warranty, I bought my new, so I know I've got my, um, this is actually my workout outfit. Most of the gals, I hold my stomach, most of the gals in, um, that go to Planet Fitness, this is like what they wear. You know, they just wear the, the top and I mean, it's a workout. It's a workout outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of you, well, it probably doesn't watch anymore. But I had a bathing suit top on one day. Looked pretty good. It's just a bathing suit top. It's not like I'm showing nips or anything, right? And um, he says, well, I'm unsubscribing. It's in inappropriate for you to wear. <laughs> a lot of you did jump in and say, well, you know, she looks good and it's just a bathing suit top. It is just a bathing suit top. So my only reply was, well, I know what's well, a good thing. You never go to the beach or go to a pool. <laughs> because you're going to see this outfit. Yeah. I mean, this, it's really warm. And that's why I had this on. It's warm. I had to have my fan on high all night long last night. And I had uh, just a sheet on, uh, oh, covering me. It was very warm. And it, in your, if you're in a van and you don't have windows open, things like that. And I'm not, if I'm traveling solo, no, I'm not going to open my windows. I mean, it's, it's not going to happen. If I was mainly in my front area of my van, sure, roll down the windows and like a lot of them do. But I'm usually back here where I'm not controlling what's going on with my windows. So, okay. I'm not going to show you my stove. <laughs> I don't want to keep moving. I have to lean over to bring it up and down and up and down. Don't want to get burned. So that's what's happening. And as far as Pa, yeah, um, yeah, there's a lot going on. I know y'all missed him. But, you know, yeah, we've got some things planned. Little announcements going on. In due time, in due time. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you what, too. <laughs> um... I think right down the road, I want to get a place. I really do. Just travel part-time. I mean, keep my van going. Travel part-time. But it would be so nice. I do miss having a sink. I do miss having a bathtub. I do miss having, being able to cook different foods. I When I lived in a house, I was more used to cooking I mean, steaming broccoli and things like that. And it's really not easy to do in a van to eat like that because you just, you know, you steam out your, your van, the condensation. I mean, the summer, you don't have to worry too much about condensation if you're in Arizona because it's dry. But once the monsoon hits, no, then you got condensation. But also, if you're going to do cooking in here, it's going to heat your van up. And if it's in the summer, well, duh. Yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of, <laughs> I mean, I promote van life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, everybody is so cool. You do save money. Well, unless you've got all these repairs going on, <laughs> you can't, like I said in yesterday's video, if you don't have a lot of income coming in and you're not, um, don't have this big, 
retirement savings or, you know, savings at all, you really can't travel. And I, sometimes I, I like to attempt it and it just doesn't work. It doesn't seem to work out. Yeah. Well, not this year anyways. So yeah, you got to have money in order to do this, but you also do save money. So if you want to save money, which brings me to my budget update, if you want to save money, you must sit still. <laughs> you can't drive a lot. You have to sit still and read books or something. Go get some free books, go to the library, join the library and get some free books or read books online. I mean, if you, like I, my domicile is in Cincinnati. So I have a library card in Cincinnati, but I'm not in Cincinnati, so I can't take out books, but I can do everything online, which is pretty darn cool. I can read books online. I can um, look at magazines online. I can do audio books online. Yeah. Yeah, you can just do your thing. You can uh, find a, a part-time job or get a job, get your savings going. So I've talked a lot about that. So, but I do want to mention that I promote the real life, not just van life, but this is real life. This is what really, and I share with you um, kind of intimate things about my life. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm having car trouble again. <laughs> You know, I'm not painting a rosy picture on my life. With my life, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I'm pretty honest. I'm a positive person. I'm not always positive. Like yesterday, I was whining and whining, laughing, but whining. Yeah, it's now fun having your heart beating fast. Like my car is going down. I'm stuck here on the side of a, a highway. What am I going to do? Those things are very, um, well, it definitely puts you out of your comfort zone, right? Most definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, yesterday I was just, yeah. So the video that you saw earlier, mm -hmm. but this is, um, this is real life for me. And I don't mind sharing because I'm not so sure that this goes on. I know there's a lot of um, the bigger channels. They've got really, they're not running into the the um, the car trouble issues that uh, um, that a lot of us do. I think I'm pretty normal. I think for I'm very I'm very mainstream. Yeah, a lot of you are driving older cars. And we have to get them fixed. And we have to find the money to do it. And we have to go through the anxiety and worrying about it. So. Yeah, I think, I do think I bring you the, the real life. The real nomad life. That's why I'm real honest with you. I say, well, I'm thinking... Maybe by next spring to decide what I'm going to do. You know, and then what Paul and I are going to do. Yeah, you'll see Paul again. I, okay, yeah. Well, let me mention this again, too. I got all these things I want to tell you. Oh, I know. It's like, oh. Um, yeah, I do have a lot of things I want to tell you. You know, but about, what about Paul? <laughs> Remember that movie, What About Bob? <laughs> it had um, Bill Murray in it. What about Bob? Well, what about Paul? You know, I started this channel three years ago. Well, Paul kind of entered um, well, it's been over three years, like three and a half years now. But so Paul entered the scene not quite two years ago. So I had already had this channel a good, almost a good year and nine months, almost two years. Let's just say two years. I've had this channel two years before Paul entered into the scene in videos. Well, 
he doesn't always want to be in film. And I, he's made that quite clear. There are times where I would just do filming. He didn't want to. I mean, just because this is my thing doesn't mean it's his thing. So for people to say, well, we want to see Paul. We want to see Paul. Well, um, I mean, sometimes Paul just doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> he's he's a different. He's a different. We He did his personality type. He's a different personality type. And um, we get along really well. But sometimes um and sometimes we don't get along i mean i will say that there are times where it's like oh we got to get away from each other because uh, i'm a different personality i'm more of the extrovert and i'm more um well i'm the commander and <laughs> things like that i'm very i'm goal oriented and um i just have plans and i'm always things are always moving in my mind i want to do this and i want to do that well Let's see. Let me check my hair. How's my chair? It's early morning. And now I'm on a different time zone. Oh, the time zone thing. My watch says it's 4.30. My, clock, my phone says 5.30. I'm confused. I don't think I got enough sleep again. Yeah, this, this, these things can... Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have a couple Valiums and just knock myself out for a week. Wouldn't that be nice? Because I've lost a lot of sleep rate lately. So, but anyways, getting back to Paul, he's um coffee. Let's get back to the coffee thing. There you go. Cheers. I need this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to be on film all the time. So um, I know a couple of you left messages on his Facebook group and said, Paul, please leave a message just about you and Abby, not about Lee. I'm like, yeah, he's, Paul's kind of a private person. And uh, I know you, you just love him. I mean, so do I. <laughs> we love him, but he doesn't always want to be on film. He doesn't always want to share like I do. And so we all just have to, I think it's kind of like we have to respect that. I think so. But this, I mean, not to be um, uh, see snarky about it, but this is my channel. And I've invited him in when he wants to come in. He can come into my videos anytime he wants to. And I, towards the last probably the last seven months, I pretty much said, do you want to be in film? Do you even want to? And he goes, no, I don't think so. Not today. But then I'll say, do you? He goes, yeah, I think I do. So it's really up to him. I have to, like, he's a grown man. He can make those decisions for himself. <laughs> he's not, he's not like my held captive, you know, he can make decisions for himself. So I just would ask that other people respect that too. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be, um, I don't want to be um, rude about it, but we just have to. I mean, he's a guy and he's worked all of his life and he deserves respect. Yeah. But he is on his way <laughs> again to, well, not so much rescue me, but when I think he wants me to wait here so that we can drive to Flagstaff together. And then once I get my van worked on, then he can help. Um, we can decide what I'm going to do during the day because what am I else am I going to do? Am I just going to sit in a mechanic in the garage and in a chair all day waiting for things to happen? So this way, it's always better to have two by two. And I always said, if there was a, a, a reason why um, Paul was going to go off and do his own thing, I don't know if I would, well, I certainly wouldn't be traveling. I don't think it's appropriate to really travel alone, solo female. And so I do want to bring, and then I'm going to end up with a story I saw on YouTube. Or was it Facebook? Doesn't matter. I saw it and she told the story. She was traveling. But I think I've wrapped up what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay here. Paul wants me to stay here until that he just left me a message. Good thing I have two phones, right? 
Okay, he just hopped on the road. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. And it, it's going to take a few days. But, you know, because I, I don't want him to drive too much. But, so I think that I've uh, updated you on that. Um, I need some work done. I'm I'm uncomfortable going on to continue my road trip. I'm uncomfortable with it. I'm not going to break down somewhere in some little stinky little town. Um, going through, you know, the um, the breadbasket land. Yeah, it, I can't do that. That would be that would be uh, anxiety um, time. Kind of think of the right words here. Let's see if I can talk. Let's have some more coffee. Oh, that is good. A little hot. Hope yours is. Be careful. Don't burn your mouth. Okay, so, um, and then I think I've updated you on Paul. He's well, and he's on his way. And we have updates when he gets there. We have updates that we'll share with you. And um, just have to, he's not always going to be in videos all the time. This is not his cup of tea. He's good at what he does, but he just doesn't really, it's, it's not like his thing, like it is mine. Yeah. And he's interested in other things too. And then I think I've updated you on, uh, that I am thinking about not today, <laughs> not today, but I am thinking about maybe getting into a place. And that's what Paul wants to do too. Getting into a place. And I'll continue doing videos. I think, I think you let me know in comments if I'm wrong, that I don't think I am, that you enjoy watching me talk about subjects and doing things. I could actually do a lot more cooking in a, in a home. And it would be fun to show you the progression of getting from, you know, I've showed you getting into a van, but getting out of a van. I mean, that's a whole nother ball game too. You know, what are we going to do for furniture, stuff like that. So there'll be a lot of, um, new things to watch and new ideas. Yeah. So, all right. My last story, I was talking about being a solo, um, on the road. This lady was traveling, maybe you saw it, this lady was traveling in the Georgia area, south, going up north, and I believe she was on a highway, or maybe it was a byway, I'm not sure, but she was traveling, and she noticed this car was uh, following her. When she would slow down, it would slow down, yeah. He was zoned in on her. Well, eventually what happened was, maybe on a highway, it was a two lane, and he got around her. And the The car, he had cam, she could see, once he rolled the windows down, because it was um, all really camel, um, or limo tinting, it was so dark. And he rolled it, she could see camel, and he kept saying, like he said, there's something wrong in the back. Um, if you want to pull over, there's something wrong in the back of your car. If you pull over, I can help you do, well, what, she obviously what she was freaked out. She got the phone out and she started while well, she's driving. She started filming him. She slowed down, started filming him. Well, he rolled the window up real fast and took off. And then a couple other cars took off too. Okay. So there were other people involved in this, but this might be what's going on, folks. There's a whole lot of sex traffic. She was a female, good looking. There's a whole lot of sex trafficking going on. There's a whole, there's just, yeah, there's uh, desperate times call for desperate measures and people are using desperate, doing desperate things. Well, she realized that that was, that was like a stink. They wanted her to pull over. He got at a point where he said, you can pull over up here and I'll help you. He wanted her to pull over. She was just warning. She says, hey gals, if you're out there, that's why yesterday... I covered my hair. I just did. I had I had it totally covered up. I had one of these on and I had totally had my hair all covered up so that they didn't even see I was blonde, didn't see that I had long hair. Uh, that, yeah, I looked more like, a, the way I had it, it looked more like a nun with the black thing coming down. <laughs> I thought, okay. So 
I will not. I've already said that if anything, if I wasn't going to travel with Paul, I would probably either just stay in a city and that's about it or just go ahead and get a place because I just think these are different times. Yeah. And there's a lot more dastardly deeds happening out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's different than it was when I first started six years ago. Oy vey shmea. Yeah. Well, those are my updates. That's what's happening. I'm going to get some more videos out for you. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, just being stuck here. I can drive. I mean, I, be, I just don't want to do a long distance. But yeah, I'll uh, do my next video will be what I've done out and about. Maybe. It might just be back in here and I'll tell you about it. Being out there and filming um, in the city. Yeah. We shall see how it goes. Okay, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for following me. Follow, thanks for following <laughs> my adventures. I don't even. I don't even edit out uh, the 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 things I say wrong. I don't even care. Um, this is just real life, and I'm just your friend talking to you, right? Okay. Please subscribe. It does help me. And uh, plus, you know, when I put up a new video, you always know about it. You don't have to go find me. Um, I'll be in your timeline. And please give me a thumbs up. That does help me. Um, go to minivanlee.com for neck gaiters. I do have, um, I think my next video, I do want to show you the, the neck gaiters that I have more of. And there's a huge sale going on. So if you want to grab some of the neck gaiters and hold them for winter, it's a good idea. They're really low. They're like slashed more than half. And what else? Oh, yeah. I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway. And then I might end up writing a book, How to uh, Move from a Van to a House, The Minivan Leeway. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Bye.